Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine. Well, today I'm with Daniel Gutierrez, who's the director of design and marketing for Taiga Boats. We're aboard the Taiga RZR. Now, Daniel, is it my imagination or in the last couple of years, have you guys been getting a lot more aggressive with the styling? I'd say ag aggressive is definitely the approach that we have on the styling aspect. We're really following an automotive design, a lot of influence from European cars, and then also throwing in our own flair on uh, what we have going on here in, in our area of the boating industry. That's great. Well, I mean, starting with features like the tower here, this is pretty cool. Uh-huh. The uh, cool part about the towers this year, it's the Alpha Z Tower, and we've had it in the line now for a few years. It came out in 09, but now the big thing that you can do with the tower is Alpha Z can be custom colored. So we've got endless powder coat options. Um, we can do it in metallic finishes. We can do it in several different variations. Um, also, the, the ability to color your speakers is a big deal, too. So we, we have all these capabilities. Basically, the customization is, is endless. I know. We were counting speakers a little a while ago and I kind of ran, ran out of fingers and toes there. It's, it's a really impressive sound system. It's uh, Wet Sounds Audio is who we use. Uh, I think we're, we're one of the very few that actually use them straight out of the factory. They've been very, very successful in the aftermarket industry, but we decided if we're going to run with the best and that's the most popular, then let's bring them in and send it right out of the factory. So uh, that, the count of speakers, so we got the subwoofers and the whole details involving all the audio and everything else. But, you know, the other thing is, is is uh, endless count on cup holders and features like that. We're just trying to we're trying to fill this boat with as much of everything as we possibly can. So this boat actually counts out at 20 cup holders. 20 cup holders seems excessive, but uh, we just we just decided that you know you can't ever have enough of that kind of thing. Absolutely, you open a beverage and sit it down, forget about it, and you can just move on to the next one. That's pretty exactly. cool. Exactly. Now, um, one thing I was really surprised when you told me the size of this boat and how, how roomy it is. It's, uh, I don't know how you did it. Yeah, we tried to maximize the space. A couple things with this RZR, it's a 20-foot boat, but we made it small enough to fit into a container. Um, so our overseas, you know, really big for the overseas market that has been continuously growing. But uh, we maximized the space as far as we could, so we pushed out everything in the interior, uh, made it deep. It's got the 32-inch freeboard that you're typically used to with the Taiga, so you can sit deep inside of it and feel like you're comfortable, safe, and roomy. We're a couple of you know, six foot grown men and yet we're, you know, the lean backs are up to our shoulders, we're comfortable with lots of room and there's plenty of space, your feet, and your knees aren't at your chest, yeah. so, so maximizing that space was critical in, uh, in moving forward with this brand new 20 foot design. Uh, it seems like we're in Command Central here. What do we have going on? Uh, what we have here is Taiga Touch. It was brand new, the Taiga lineup for 2010, and here we are again, um, you know, building on the success that we have. So what you have is a dash. It's, uh, it's all completely hand upholstered, very low profile. Our perspective on this is the more visibility that you have on the waterway, the safer it's going to be. So we decided to drop Taiga Touch off to the right hand, so it's a lot more automotive, what you're used to in your car with navigation systems. Right off the throttle here, you reach straight forward, you've got complete control the ability to navigate through uh, the entire Taiga Touch setup. So touch screen navigation, complete control of the boat right here, touch of a finger. What sort of things can you do with the Taiga Touch? Basically everything that is in this boat can be commanded through Taiga Touch. You now have complete audio capability so you're running everything rather than having the small remotes off to the side now. All of your audio capability is right here with the touch of a finger. You hit the home button, you've got your all your different switches, you've got your depth. Taiga U is a custom profile setup where we have 20 profiles. Mm -hmm. um, you can custom set to every single detail, as easy as setting it right on the fly. The boat remembers everything when you, when you program it, and it's as easy as that. Uh, different light options, ballast options, uh, video is a big one. This boat isn't specifically equipped with it, but your ability now to put a tower camera on the video um, is uh, putting a t the tower camera up there is, is another feature so you can now watch your rider and record it and take it, pull it out, put it on your computer and go to YouTube with it. So it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's never ending right. with the options. Now, what are. type of skiers is this, uh, skiers or this, is this boat going to appeal to? This is really going to follow the same deal that we've done here at Taiga and that's the versatility aspect. We're going to be an incredible wakeboard boat. Um, water skiing, this is coming off of a whole design that was w, uh, AWSA certified, so it's certified for the slalom skiing. Uh, this boat specifically hasn't done that yet, but we're about to. Um, and then also the biggest the deal is the you know the latest craze in the industry, and that's surfing, and this thing's going to put out a monster surf Huge. wake. So. Now, tell me about the hull itself. It's a little different than most uh, ski boat hulls. Right. It? It's a convex V hull. That's our patented hull design. So the back of the end of the boat actually tapers up slightly. 
Uh, it really just allows the boat to settle naturally at the slower speeds, allows the water to come off and create a bigger, a bigger swell on the surf wave where it's going to create a, a, a more um, adaptable wakeboard wake. But then with the, you add that with the convex V hole and the TAPS technology on the back of the boat, you're, you really have your ability to manipulate the running attitude of the boat, to trim out the running attitude of the boat. So even out handling on you know, a, day like, a windy day like today, uh, your ability to maneuver in that rough water is, is going to be a lot easier, allow the boat to actually trim through it. Well, Daniel, this boat really carries the beam really far forward, which gives us a whole lot of room up here, doesn't it? Absolutely. We're in a 20-foot boat here and a couple, you know, a couple of six-foot guys, and, and there's plenty of room in here to hang out all day for sure. Up in this bow, it's kind of following suit with what we've done um, with the RZ series with this wide open bow design. A uh, big thing that's deceiving about this boat is just also how, how dry the ride is. So it seems with the styling that this nose goes forward, but it really is, it's built up high and I've spent hundreds of hours in these new RZRs and I'm yet to take any water over the front of it. So keeping it dry has been a big deal too. Well, an exciting new boat for 2011. Thanks, Daniel, appreciate right. it. Appreciate it. We just finished testing the Taiga RZR. It's the new 20-footer from uh, Taiga. It's powered by the PCM uh, 343 engine, which is the smallest one. But I'll tell you what, we got really good performance. Time to plane of 2.6 seconds, which is outstanding. And we got to 30 miles an hour in 5.6 seconds with a top speed of 41.6 miles an hour. Now, this boat has a convex uh, hull, which it's, means it's kind of banana shaped. It doesn't have the traditional hook at the back. And what that allows you to do is uh, be able to uh, operate at a slow speed and still in a controlled fashion. So wake surfing is definitely in the picture, the hottest new sport. For more information on the Taiga RZR and other great boats, go to BoatingWorld.com. I'm Alan Jones, and we'll see you out on the water. Let's go surfing. Yeah, this thing puts out a monstrous wake. It's incredible.